right, there we go. Well then, hello again, and welcome on YouTube to this live playthrough of Bramble the Mountain King. Uh, disclaimer to start, this is a solo a horror game. Uh, I don't play horror games very often. A little chicken that gets frightened by everything. <laughs> so I'll do my best not to die of a heart attack. But I promise nothing. Uh, I know very little about this game, only that is, uh, it's horror, it's completely dark. Uh, the trailer gave me a little bit of um, Little Nightmares vibes. Um, but I'm not entirely sure it compares, it's just the, it was just the vibe I was getting. And you know, horror, from, from the horror aspect, a little light version was. Okay, but that was bearable. Uh, for me at least. And uh, apparently Bramble the Mountain King is heavily inspired by uh, Nordic fairy tales and folklore. Uh, which I know very little about. I'm excited to see if I recognize something. Um, and if not, that makes it all the I guess. Go in and start a new game. I hope audio is not too loud since I have to change up my audio settings. Um, it's a little tougher to do right now. But yeah, I'll have an eye, and of course, my viewers are free to point out any sound issues or any hey, this is too loud, this is too quiet, you're too quiet at any point in time. And I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jeff. We'll see how this once we start the game. With good data, it's okay so far. Yeah, uh, let's start. Nightmare woke him up. Frightened by his mother's bedtime story, he searched for his sister's comfort, but she was nowhere to be found. Keys, that's good. Can jump and interact. Oh, can close my field thing. That's it. I feel like this is usually that you should play this on controller. Because I'm moving with the mouse in a lot. There once was a girl who snuck out of her bedroom window at night, even though her mother had told her not to. She went into like the forest, time. and at first it welcomed her with warmth and a promise of adventures. But soon the forest seemed to grow colder and darker. Very beautiful visual so far. Love to paint in the storybook. And the narrator's voice is fantastic so far. 
after me. The girl was afraid, and she wanted to go home. But Bramble crawled around her arms and legs, and she could not get away. <laughs> and the girl was never seen again. <laughs> no happy ending. Got it. Oh my god, we have to make sure that that's not our system. That is what happens when you do not listen to your mother. Especially you, Lilimur. Their mother had said before kissing them goodnight. I guess the question is, Lilimur, is that us or is it our sister? Okay, no, that's our sister. Lilimur is his sister, Ole. Yeah, Ole. That's a quite um, smart way to introduce the characters. Like with just that, I mean, we have a United Cute Animation of something that a lot of people, a lot of children do. Mark uh, size, the height that's different ages. We also know the sister's name. We know that she's older because she's taller. It would be uh, very unusual for a younger sibling to be taller than the older one. Um, I think they also have ages that people do. We would also probably see that the ages if you pay attention to the way you try no, didn't. Uh, how much older she is. And if you know our character's name. And if you don't enter you know, go to the door before, you also know the sister's name. So a lot of information just by a little, uh, a little, um, I want to call it cutscene. <laughs> I'm going to call it a cutscene. Yeah, that's it. The troll who took children? Hey, Gala. Hey, Linux. Greetings. Who's your troops? Welcome in, welcome in. Are you ready for the spoops? Trying to read the uh, book titles. I'm too far away. Still can't read it. I'm blind. Alright, so that one of your reads. Only two soldiers and a deer. Kids on the doom there. That looks creepy as hell. Okay, this this is, looks like a scene in the woods with a bunch of weird looking creatures. They almost look like they're made of clay or wax or something and like half and then the floor, the white figure looks like a little girl, but naked. That's giving very creepy vibes, that picture. Like seriously, child abducting creepy vibes. <laughs> Yeah, the question is, was there something else we could do here? I mean, yeah, we could do it. Matchsticks, we've done with that. Okay, yeah. You know, I'm asking a certain place that we can only attack with once, and others we can attack with one attack with them, but whatever. No, don't tell me the microphone audio is. Define off. Okay. 
it can't be desynced. I still have the offset in there. I don't understand. I honestly don't understand that. I mean, does it sound weird or is it just not in sync to the camera, which actually it should be, by the way. It absolutely should be in sync. Like I didn't do a test recording this time, but I didn't change the settings to, to last time. If it is desynced again, uh... no, I, what? You're kidding me. Why? No. Okay, how about now? Is this better? Why does Streamlabs hates me? It hates me! Thanks for telling me. I would have... Actually, I, would, I think I would have killed myself if another recording was fucked up. And it's so fucked up because I cannot check it. I don't hear it. Everything sounds fine to me. Thanks a lot. Horror already started. Alright, let's reach the leave the room. Or not? <laughs> so we follow us to staff though. But... The darkness outside scared him. Tech issues are my greatest nightmare. <sighs> but not being with his sister scared him even more. You dressed up fast, boy. Okay, the, forest the nearby looks forest was a familiar place during the day. I should put this in the forest. Looks really good. But at night, it was a different story. Yeah. Hedgehog. Little hedgehog there. There was hey no there. trace of Lilimur, and Ulle wished he could ask the pine cones if they had seen her. If the pine cones knew about her fate, they kept it to themselves. Love the lighting and the little particles. Looks fantastic. Okay, the pine cone is telling us where to go. So we have one big pine cone surrounded by two, four, six, eight smaller ones. And the big one seems to has something on its head, maybe like a crown.
Tak, mas pode things. Hmm. Interesting. Gallop with, with the hedgehog facts. While I'm being jump scared by a deer. We're gonna slide down. Very interesting camera work, work so far. Like we don't really have so far a fixed camera position, it switches all the time. Which, you know, can be overwhelming if not done right, but it also can uh, serve a very interesting experience. Let's see, we have more pine cones here. And, and a big one, a smaller one. Could represent represent siblings. And some apples. Maybe sis stopped here for a snack. tree is potentially a safe space for uh, the kids. Oh, did I see there's something on the roof? There was some some glowing eye or something on the roof. <laughs> Please just let's let just let's just beat it out. Okay. I got an achievement for that. Oh, key. Ah, now it fell out. See a pine cone wedged into a floor there. I do have some platforming. Big as bird. Okay, more pine cones. Group of five. Walking alone. Oh, do we have to fall down there? <laughs> If we had to, can I go backwards? Okay. I said that before, but it's something I like doing games going the opposite direction that you're intended to go just to see if there are, are any secrets hidden. Okay, what is this? Fairy light? A light in the dark. A symbol of hope.
a spark of courage. Right. Thank you. Interesting statue of a girl. It could be the girl from the story. Would make a whole lot of sense if it represented our sister. Okay, I'm not sure what's that. Is someone singing or is it someone playing the flute? Nope, that's singing. I can climb that. Okay, let me also check. Okay, no, nope, nothing back here. There, Lilimor asked. It glimmers beautifully. Hmm. What a strange rock. White as a feather. She investigated closely. <gasps> wow. Let us play, little brother, Lilimor bubbled. <laughs> See if you can knock down this pine cone. Hmm. Come in. <laughs> Together, they tumbled down deeper and deeper through the old ruin. I would stay, and we are tiny. Follow me, little brother. I will protect you, Lila Moore said. She was never scared like him. Ule wished he could be a little more like his sister. 
Lilimur loved adventures, and Ulle loved Lilimur. Tell me why his name is like that. So what is little mother? Is Lilimore? <laughs> little mother? Because that's the sis. <laughs> Take the tiniest <laughs> oh, tiny little gnome. <laughs> Did it more be nice to the little gnome? <coughs> oh. Rude. Little, little church. Okay, then uh, the character we are controlling is Ole, little boy, and his older sister is actually in the more. Hello, buddy. You didn't have to cry. <laughs> the gigantic head. Gnomes are peculiar and playful creatures. They live peacefully in daylight and keep in their houses at night. Visitors that don't want to eat them were unheard of until this day. Oh, who would eat those little guys? They're too cute. And they wouldn't satisfy your appetite anyway. Oh, they choke. <laughs> I love hedgehogs. I love them so much. Some of my favorite animals. Open it. Wooden gnome figurine. We pick that up. Oh, all the other gnomes come out. Playing hide and seek.
Yeah, that would be much easier with controller. or Should I... Don't tell me I have to... Like, get them... Oh, I do. Okay, this is going to take a while. Interesting to see uh, what we have to do with these mechanics later on in the game. Not a stone. friendly so far. We haven't really entered the horror territory yet. Also our light disappeared. Our light of courage. Or maybe we don't have it out right now because it's day. I was trying if we could sprint while climbing, but it doesn't appear you can. 
Okay, but having a hidden crouch leads you to falling and hitting jump leads you to falling naturally. We have they here. were both curious in Whoa. different ways, while Lillimur quickly ran along. Ulle could get completely enthralled. And suddenly, Ole was alone again. Yep, completely enthralled, all right. Let's follow the fairy then. Where the pixie you are, I don't know. No, no. Are you, are you serious? How did I manage that? Okay, but now it didn't kill us. <laughs> the river was strong and Ule was weak. He did not stand a chance. But soon the sound of the river faded. Ole was happy to have firm ground under his feet again. I mean, the question is if it wouldn't have been smarter to have ourselves be captured as well. Because then we would at least be with our sister and could try and ex escape together. Provided she doesn't die immediately. And we with her. Oh, and our clothes changed again. We're wearing our nightgown again. Is that a dream? I mean, potentially all of this could be a dream, you know? Ah, oh. right. It looks like the ruins we've just been to.
Frog King saved us. Frog King made sure that his new friend did not drown. But without his sister, he felt like the loneliest child in the world. He just wanted to find Lillimor and go home. It's going to, to do happen. that. He had to find where the big troll had taken her. I wish so too, Gav. Right, so the big troll is our enemy. Big, big troll. The big bad troll. Okay, the mouse. <laughs> Amazing trade. Pick for the key. Ah, okay. That enough? Does it do the Hmm, it is. Good for us. Thank you for the help, little gnome. Big stone with eyes. Can we pick up the lion? That would be dope. No? I guess that's probably not the place I'm supposed to go. Yeah. Overthrown card? A lot more creepy creatures with eyes and a gnome hanging. Bear traps. <laughs> I th 
thought there was no trap there. Okay, give me a second. I'm not... I absolutely have no idea where the correct path is. And I'm afraid of missing... No, don't tell me. I saw the gnome! I thought this was a secret path. I mean, I can't go back. That's a, that's a troll again. <laughs> it's, not just, not, it's nice that we didn't see that. <laughs> This is as far up and left as I can go. get to the gnome after all. <gasps> and fell down a different trap. I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh 
no, don't see me. Oh no. Okay, cool. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do here? Why? <laughs> Why did you do that? 